Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special video. Today we're going to be opening up this big box right here. And I got this box on eBay. And what is in here is 2,000 random sports cards just packed into this box. And as you can see, I opened up the top here just to remove my address on it. But I haven't gone through any of these cards and I wanted to go through them through... I wanted to go through them with you guys. And so I don't know if you can see this, but right here, when I peeled off my address, my, my shipping label on there, there's something written on pen on the box. I didn't write it there. It was already written there, and it says Crosby Mini on it. So that got me pretty interested, got me pretty excited. There could be a Sydney Crosby Mini card in here. So that is pretty exciting. So let's just go ahead and open up this box just to see how it's looking in here. Again, I haven't gone through any of these yet. So we'll take off this top part. It looks like all the, the cards are just kind of strewn and thrown everywhere from here. So yes, I'm going to be going through all of these cards in this box and I'm going to be picking out the important ones and showing you guys what is important in it. And this is 2,000 sports cards. It's going to be a mixture of obviously football cards right here and we got baseball cards right here and of course Sidney Crosby. We might get some hockey cards as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and get it set up here and then we can go ahead and start going through these cards. Okay, so we got so we got a Kawhi Leonard mini right there which is pretty cool. These are the Upper Deck Goodwin Championship Minis. These were all on the top. Uh, there might be some that have fallen through. But yeah, these are the Upper Deck Goodwin Champions, which remind me a lot of the Allen & Ginter from Tops. But they're still pretty cool. we got a Joey Chestnut right there. Billy Bean. C oh, there it is. There you guys have it. That is the Sidney Crosby Mini card right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but sure enough, there was a Sidney Crosby Mini. Written right there on the box, and that is pretty cool. So we did get a Sidney Crosby Mini. Upper Deck Goodwin Champions, so we will set that one aside, which is pretty cool. And we're just going to keep going ahead and going through these. So we went through all of the Goodwin Champions of the Upper Deck ones, and I picked out five other cards and right next to the Sidney Crosby one that I thought were pretty interesting pretty worthwhile showing. So we have a Pete Rose right there which is really interesting with an Abby Wambach which is pretty cool. Nice soccer card there. And then we have Arnold Palmer, the famous golfer of Arnold Palmer. Pretty cool. And then the legendary LeBron James which is very very nice. Enjoy that a lot. Tiger Woods, another legendary golfer to throw in there. And those are the five that I pulled out as well as this awesome Sidney Crosby Mini. The guy wasn't kidding. He actually included a Sidney Crosby Mini in there, which is pretty cool. So we will set these ones aside. Those are all the Goodwin Champions cards so far. I'm going to keep going through these. There might be some, some hiding at the bottom that have fallen through. And so we'll keep on going, and I'll show you guys anything else important that might come up. So as you guys can see, like the types of cards that we're getting here are just all sorts of different years and brands, which is real nice. Like we have a 1990 Bowman here, 1989 Fleer here, I think this is a 1992 Tops, 93 Tops, yeah, it's a 93 Tops right there. And then we have like a modern day Tops right here, I think it's 2011, 2010 Tops right there, which is really cool. So we got all sorts of different brands going on here. Okay guys, so now we're going to be going through the cards that I'm, I'm just going to keep pulling handfuls out and showing you the important cards that I will pull out of those handfuls. So we have a really interesting upper deck card here. This is the Randy Couture upper deck. <laughs> pretty interesting, mixed martial arts, Randy Couture, pretty, pretty notable in that field. And so we also have really cool, a 2016, I believe, yes, a 2016 Topps Chrome of Kevin Kermeyer which is super cool like it's it's no it's cool to me because it's a it's a tops chrome from 2016 that's included in the set which is really awesome and then we also have a Derek Jeter or it's it says Derek Jeter says which I thought was interesting but this to show you the diversity of this this is a 2008 upper deck to throw in some diversity there not really an important card but then we also have a Bowman chrome card of Miguel Cabrera who is another notable player the third baseman for Detroit so there's some more notable cards we will set these ones aside and of course we have all sorts of different brands that are going on here 
like we got the upper deck future stars right there and of course Bowman Chrome which you've already seen so I'm just going to keep going ahead and if we see anything else interesting we'll come right back to it Okay guys, so I actually went through three different piles there because we weren't pulling too many things. There were just a bunch of 87 tops and 89 FLIR that weren't too notable, pretty popular sets. But I did discover some new football cards that I haven't come across yet. These are the 2016 Donruss, which is very cool. So we put, managed to pull a Brett Favre, an Earl Campbell, an RG3, and an Archie Manning from that portion of the 2016 Donruss, which is really cool. I don't have any 2016 Donruss in football. I've actually taken a break from organizing and looking at my football cards, so it's a bit of a transition to be looking at these these names like that, but it's still really cool to have these cards. Then we also have a, I believe this is Upper Deck Cooperstown? Or no, Panini Cooperstown. Sorry about that. This is Panini's Cooperstown. We have a Lefty Grove, which is really, really cool. And we also have another 2016 Donruss of Ray Lewis, which is really, really interesting. So we're just going to keep on going ahead with these notable cards, which is just really awesome. I'm super impressed with this purchase already, and we aren't even digging into it deep yet. Okay, some more cool things pulled from that. And again, the diversity just keeps growing here. We have a Batman card addressing Gotham City. It's just it's pretty interesting. I'm trying to read the year. This is 1992 Tops. A uh, Tops Batman card. That's pretty pretty unique, pretty interesting. So and we'll set that one aside for sure. Then we also have a 48th Infantry Motto Dragoon which is one of those. Not really sure what it's from, what set it is, not not really sure about it, but pretty unique. And then we also have this set, the Desert Storm Second Series. I actually have this complete set, but I think I've lost a few cards over the years. But this set is pretty cool. It's an F-15 Eagle featured on this picture, but <laughs> certainly a pretty unique card to be in that set. And then we pulled a few more 2016 Donruss cards. I'll show you real quick. We have Rob Gronkowski, J.J. Watt, Eli Manning, and Joe Thomas, the Pro Bowler for the Browns. These are some pretty notable players that we're pulling in these, these Donruss cards, which is really, really cool. I'm enjoying this a lot. So we will keep on going with these cards. All right, guys, so we've got a few more pulls here. I'm going to show you real quick. We've got a Bryce Harper on the throwback from Donruss. This is a 2016 throwback, which is very, very cool. Looks like the 82 throwback, I believe. 1982 Donruss throwback for Bryce Harper, which is very interesting. We also have a few more Cooperstown card showing Willie Stargell there and Roberto Clemente, which is very nice. And we also have the notable 2016 Donruss of Russell Wilson, which is very nice. We will keep on going. Okay, guys, so I just went through a few large stacks of these Allen and Ginters. There is a huge stack of what was the 2014 Allen and Ginter, and that was a lot of Allen and Ginter cards. And of course, we pulled some big names that I'm going to show you real quick. So we got Mark McGuire there, Cal Ripken Jr., Joe DiMaggio, 
a nice Bryce Harper card there, Ty Cobb, Willie Stargell there, another Lou Gehrig, a Paul Goldschmidt, which is really cool. I thought this one was really cool. Jordan Burroughs card. See, I'm a huge wrestling fan, so seeing Jordan Burroughs on it is pretty nice. Nice Ryan Sandberg there. Clayton Kershaw, Dennis Eckersley, Reggie Jackson, Yasiel Puig. Nice Nolan Ryan there. Another Cal Ripken, a Don Mattingly, and another Bryce Harper. So those are some really nice Allen and Ginter cards. They're in great shape, too, which looks really good. So we pulled a nice big stack of those Allen and Ginter cards for you. So we're going to keep going with these stacks over here. Okay, guys, so not pulling too many good ones from those few, but we did pull a few. So we got a Robin Yount on the 1989 Fleer, a Nolan Ryan, which is really cool, another Robin Yount, and another Tony Gwynn on the 1994 Top Stadium Club, which I just opened up a bunch of packs of that. You guys can go check out that video. But this Robin Yount's really cool to me because I absolutely love the Leaf set. I don't have enough cards of the Leaf set, so getting a Robin Yount in that was really cool. Love the Leaf set. Okay, so coming back with these cards right here, and I must point out, as I'm going through these cards, I'm not seeing any duplicates at all, which is just fantastic. We're getting all sorts of different types of sets. Not too many of one set, although we did get a lot of these 89 Fleer right here, but it's okay. We do have a lot of variety going on, which is what I love about this purchase here. But going over some key cards here, we have a Gary Sheffield right there, which looks like a really good card. Really nice looking one. We have a Ryan Sandberg for the 1994 Donruss set. A Tim Raines. A nice Don Mattingly there for Fleer. A Robin Yount and the 92 Donruss. We just opened up a bunch of packs of these, and I did get a Robin Yount, but it's always good to have more Robin Younts with us. Got interesting ESPN baseball cards. I do have a few of these. They're from Upper Deck, I believe. But this one is of Nomar Garcia Par. And then we have these Pacific trading cards of Nolan Ryan. These are all Nolan Ryan, which is really cool. I have a lot of Pacific cards for football. A lot of my football cards are, but I've never seen too many baseball cards that are from Pacific which is pretty interesting for me, especially since it's Nolan Ryan. So we're just going to keep moving on here and see what else we can get. Okay, guys, so i got to show you this one. I was really excited about uh, one of the cards I'm going to be showing you here. But real quick, we do have a Future Stars from Upper Deck. Two here, Nomar Garcia, Parra, and Carlos Beltran, which is really nice. I really like that set. We have no Don Mattingly in the 1990 Donruss, but this is the card I really wanted to show you. This is a Joel Pinheiro, numbered to 299. This is 295 out of 299. It's a numbered card from Upper Deck, which is really nice. This is 2006 Upper Deck. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that is really cool. I did not expect to pull a numbered card from these which is really good looking. Number to 299. Love it. It's really interesting that I could pull that, and I absolutely love it.
All right, guys, we got a lot to go through real quick. Some really good looking cards to go through. So this right here is a 2016 Topps Allen and Ginter of Clayton Kershaw. Pretty cool. We got some more modern cards coming our way. This is 2016, so last year's Allen and Ginter is in this box, which is really nice. Good look in there. We got a nice Ichiro card for the triple play. And so now these are from this set right here, which is the upper deck presents Goodwin Champions, so we got some pretty notable names from it, such as Wayne Gretzky, Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, and LeBron James. Like, you can't get much better than those names right there. And those are all from the Goodwin Champions, which is really nice. So I'm going to pull out the Wayne Gretzky and the Michael Jordan and set those right there. I'm going to put these over here. And we have an Omar V. Squell who was up for the Hall of Fame this year, I believe, for the Indians. I'm a huge fan of him which is really nice, but these upper deck cards are really good looking to me. I think they just look great. So, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is these 2016 tops. Look at all these 2016 tops cards that are in there. And I'm just so amazed at it. And then we got a nice Alex Rodriguez in the front there, and I'll see these Escobar. Like, these are really good. Like, these are good looking cards they have in the collection. So, a nice 2016 tops chrome to put along with our collection. And we were also able to pull these really interesting cards here. This is the Upper Deck A Piece of History. I do believe I have a few of these cards, but these are just some really nice looking cards and a really good set for me to collect. So I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Okay guys, so the battery died on the main camera I was using, so I switched over to my phone. But right after the camera died, I decided to just keep going through all 2,000 of the cards. And as you can see here, there are a lot of trading cards. I'm going to try and get all of them in the shot here. But there are just tons and tons of cards that we went through. And let me tell you, they are some really nice, diverse cards. And there's not duplicates. There's very any duplicates that I could tell from it. And there's all sorts of different sets in it. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of what we got. So as you guys obviously saw, we have a bunch of these 2014 Allen Ginters, and they were just a big stack of the 2014 Allen Ginter, which was a big feature of that box. We also have a bunch of 2008 Upper Deck here. Um, it's a set I have not completed yet, so which is really good. So a lot of the 2008 Upper Deck, which looks really, really nice, really good about that. And also, throughout the set, we have a lot of the Upper Deck Goodwin Champions cards. Let's see if I can show these real quick. Uh, different sets here. That one's obviously Wayne Gretzky, which is really nice. But they're just a bunch of upper deck Goodwin champions here, like this one right here. We've got Jason Kidd in the back. We got Adrian Brandley right there. Adrian Danley right there, which is good. So a lot of these upper deck Goodwin champions, which we've already seen the minis shown before, and we got these ones right here. So it's just different sets of these uh, Goodwin champions that I wanted to show real quick. And you guys also saw the Topps Chrome card, the 2016 Topps Chrome cards, which is really cool. Some modern day valuable cards right there. And also we have a large set of these comics, which I wanted to show real quick, which I thought were real funny. They're from Upper Deck from the older sets, one of their, one of their first few sets that they had. But these cards are real cool. So I'm going to set those ones aside as well. So I'll show you again all these different cards that we went through right here and right here. We have all these different stacks right here, and there's just all sorts of different types of cards and different types of sets. I thought it was really awesome. Definitely a valuable purchase, I think. So now we're going to go through the valuable cards that I tended to pick out, tended to favor more. I wanted to show real quick. So this one is of Elvis Presley in his army days. It's just an interesting card. <laughs> I just thought it was pretty interesting. It's a very unique card to have right there. We also have, I believe this is 2016, if I can read that correctly. Yes, 2016 Donruss of you Darvish right there of Sonny Gray as well and of Andrew McCutcheon and there's a bunch more 2016 Donruss that I pulled as well so we have another good one champions just showing you here we got Nolan Ryan right there pretty unique card of Ludwig van Beethoven which is real nice we have a LeBron James going right next to his mini LeBron James right there which is really cool Ladanian Tomlinson the future actually the right now the Hall of Famer which is a really cool card we got a nice Dan Marino card right there. Terrell Owens, also a decent player, I must say. <laughs> of course, we got a Mark McGuire right there. Randy Johnson, which is a nice card. Bo Jackson from the 1990 highlight. 
another Randy Johnson card. I thought this card looked really cool. It was from Upper Deck. I thought it was a really nice looking card. Another good one, Champions here. So we're going to be going through these. We got Barry Sanders. A nice Aaron Rodgers card. And then we got, we got a lot of Cal Ripkins in the set, which is good. So we've got a Cal Ripken there. Barry Bonds, another Cal Ripken. Another Cal Ripken, and that's a really nice looking Cal Ripken card, I must say. 1994 score. And we got a Brian Urlacher on the Topps Heritage card, which looks really good. Good looking card there. And I just wanted to showcase this one. I went through all the 2008 Upper Deck cards. I thought this Manny Ramirez card just looked really cool. I love the picture in that for some reason. I just wanted to show you real quick. So we got another Ken Griffey Jr. on the Upper Deck. Love the Upper Deck cards. A Craig Biggio there. A nice looking Ozzy Smith card. Another Barry Bonds to show you. Got Big Poppy there, David Ortiz. Going through some more good ones, champions. We got Mike Tyson right there. Wayne Gretzky, the great. Another Michael Jordan. And another good basketball player of Larry Bird. And we got two more Dennis Eckersleys that we pulled. Those look really good. Those are Fleer Ultras. And then we got some more Allen and Ginters here. This is 2014 of Babe Ruth. So we'll set him with the other ones right there. We got a nice Andre Dawson for the Diamond Kings. I love Diamond Kings. So that looks really, really good. Got a Mark McGuire on the 1989 Fleer. A Gypsy Queen of Max Scherzer. I really love Gypsy Queen. There's a, there a handful of Gypsy Queen in this set, which is really good. And then to finish it off, we have a Don Mattingly from the Topps Stadium Club. So there you guys have it. That is 2,000 trading cards that we went through. And guys, we went through some really nice cards, especially these two cards right here, which are the Sidney Crosby Mini, as stated on the box, as stated on the package, which was really cool. And a numbered card, a number to 299, Joel Pinheiro, 295 out of 295, which is, I believe, it's 2006 Upper Deck, right? 2006 Upper Deck, numbered to 299. So there you guys have it. That is 2,000 trading cards that we went through today. It took me a while to go through, but the camera died about uh, a quarter of the way through. We had a bunch of cards to go through still, so I just decided to go through them all, pick out the important ones to show you real quick. So there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and subscribe for more unboxing, reviews, card showcases, and I will see you guys next time.